Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Thank you for tuning in to Breaking Free from NPD with Lizzie. If you have not subscribed to this family, you need to do so right now. Please hit that like button, please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. That way you'll be able to receive all of my upcoming content that I upload, sorry. And um, you'll be able to see all my videos and my lives. Now remember to please to share these videos on all your social media platforms, whether it be Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you can share these videos, we need to bring awareness of NPD, Narcissistic Personality Disorder. My name is Coach Lizzie. I am blessed to be here today to share another video with you all. Thank you again for being so patient with me. God is so good. He's working miracles in our lives and he wants us to stay focused. Now, I'm not going to be long. I'm going to get right to it. My topic today is will the narcissist ever tell the truth? Will they ever tell the truth? And I'm sure most of you all already know that answer. Will they ever tell the truth? No, they will not. And the reason why is because they have been living this lie for so long. They have been wearing the mask for so long. They believe their own lies. They have premeditated your downfall. They have orchestrated every single movement in your life. That's financially, family, friends, uh, your credit, your future, whatever it is. These people have orchestrated every single thing. They wake up day and night every day focusing on how they can bring you down, how they can destroy you, how they can continue to look like the innocent victim. And you are the perpetrator. You are the culprit. You are the one is the horrible person. You are the one that did everything. As long as the narcissist can keep that going, he or she feel powerful. They feel like they're in control. They have everyone uh, dangling on a puppet string. Every single lie the narcissist ever tells they have to keep that same lie up with everyone else. Now, let me explain what I mean <clears throat> Will they ever tell the truth. Every single person that knew you all, whether you knew you all as a couple, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it may be, every person they come in contact with, they got to tell the same lie. So when the narcissists say that they are repentant and they are in Christ Jesus or they're not this type of person, and you know you're the problem then why do they have to lie to every single person they have to tell the same lie every single person they run into that knew you all as a couple <clears throat> knew you all as associates or whatever and that narcissist can even be your husband it could be your wife it doesn't have to be an intimate partner it could be your child your neighbor it could be um, a co-worker uh, it could be uh, anyone, an auntie or uncle or grandmother or grandparent. So when I talk about narcissism, I'm really talking about anyone that's a narcissist in your life. But majority of the time, it's an intimate partner. It's a husband, a wife, a spouse, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a fiance or whatever. So when these people lie, they got to tell everybody the same lie. Because there's going to be people that you haven't seen in years or months or weeks and they haven't seen in years and months or weeks that knew you all they got to tell the same lie so this is going to go on until the day they die and so every person that they see they're going to tell them the same lie about how they had to get out of the marriage or the relationship and you were such a horrible person and you wasn't happy and now you're happy now they're happy now i'm sorry they're happy now because they're with someone else or they're married to someone else or they're dating someone else or they moved out away from that horrible parent or they moved away from that horrible uh, auntie or grandmother or whoever that narcissist is in your life or they had to quit that job and go to another place because of you. They got to tell everybody the same sob story. They have to tell everybody the same lie in order to keep everything up. And as long as these people believe them and take their side and say, oh, I feel so sorry for you. I knew it was something about that person or I figured you all should have never been together. You didn't seem like you was the perfect match. And they'll sit there and go, oh, well, you're so right. I made a mistake and I love this person so much and, and I should have just listened to the Lord and I just went on with the relationship anyway. It's all a lie. It's all a facade. 
but the people that they're telling the lies to don't believe it because the narcissist is so convincing. The narcissist is such a manipulator and a con artist. The narcissist don't know anything else but to lie. They don't even know what truth is. The truth would probably kill them if it came out of their mouth. The truth would probably choke, the, choke them to death if it ever came out of their mouth. The only way the narcissist would break down and probably tell the truth, and that's a maybe, it's going to take God himself to break that person down. It's going to take the Holy Spirit to break that person down, to really make them humble themselves. But they will never tell the truth. They lie on their own children. If they lie on their own children, you know they're going to lie on you. They'll lie on their bosses. They'll lie on their neighbors, their friends. Everything is a lie. Now, you have to remember when the narcissist was smearing your name. They were love bombing you and smearing you at the same time. So they were sleeping with you, eating your food, having sex with you. They were pretending to be happy, pretending to be this wonderful, humble, loving partner, spouse, or child, or whoever this narcissist is in your life. They were pretending the whole time, and you were actually happy. You were actually thinking that everything was fine. You were actually thinking that this person truly, really loved you while you were cooking and cleaning and buying things for them, celebrating them, and you know, and introducing them to your family, taking them to your job, taking them to Christmas parties and events. You really thought this person truly loved you, but you didn't know. Let me tell you, you didn't know that they were smearing your name. They were talking bad about you to pastors and to leadership. They were talking bad to you, about you to your family members behind your back, your children. They were talking bad about you to your friends and people that you both were friends with. And though when these people come around you, they thinking that you're pretending. They thinking that you're pretending to be this loving, nice person. And soon as they leave, you're a monster. That's exactly what the narcissist wanted these people to think. Now you have to remember, not only did they lie to everyone else, they lied to the new supply. How do you think they got the new supply? They couldn't go to the new supply and say that my husband or my wife or my child was, is a really nice person, a really good person, but I'm just screwing them over. I'm just mistreating them so I can love bomb you and I can be with you and I can discard them. They can't do that because that new supply is gonna feel like, well, if they're a nice person and that was a nice husband or a nice wife or girlfriend or boyfriend or child and you're screwing them over for me, what if I'm nice to you? What if I'm a good partner? You'll screw me over. So you have to remember the narcissist has lied to everyone. Should a new supply think that you are a horrible wife or a horrible husband or you was a horrible person and you carried this narcissist through hell, you carried them through trauma, you carried them through, you know, being an absent parent, you wasn't there for them or the children, the lies, the sob story, that you were so focused on your ministry and them and you wasn't there for them. It was a whole lie for them to sleep with them. See, the narcissist had to get that new supply in the bed. They had to sleep with them. They had to buy their dinner and their lunch and take care of their children and to be there with them all the time in order to make that person fall in love with them. And so that's how they were able to get these people. So you have to remember that the marriages, the new relationship with the new supply, whatever these entanglements were with these people, it's all a lie. It's all a facade. Everything about the narcissist is a lie. Every single relationship, every single connection, I don't care what type of connection it is in the world with this narcissist, it's a lie. It's built on a lie. So if these new supplies, whether it's a male or female, whether it's your child, your grandmother, your auntie, whoever this narcissist is in your life, if these people have moved on with a new supply or have moved on with new victims, these are nothing but new victims now. The new supplies are basically new victims. They are new territory. They are new to the narcissist. So they're not going to believe anything that you have to say, especially if you're an ex. Don't go and try to tell the new supply anything about the narcissist. Don't go and try to tell them that this person did you this way and that way because they don't care. Because they think you're only saying that because you're jealous and you want to be with them and you don't want them to be together. You have to remember it's all a lie. You have to learn to remember that everything is founded upon falsehood. Founded upon your demise. Everything was founded upon the lies that they told everyone about you. 
and you wonder why everybody at the Christmas party or everyone in the family or people in the church or other people that were your friends look at you strange, start to look at you funny, you know, and you can feel that there's something wrong in the air. You can feel that there's a distance. You can feel that things are not the same because the narcissists have been lying about you to these people, making them think that they're trying to hold on to the marriage and they're trying to hold on to the relationship, but you just won't budge. You just won't act right. You just won't do right. And they've done everything that they possibly could do to be with you. So will these people continue to lie? Will they ever tell the truth? No, they will not. Because if they tell the truth, the whole playhouse will come down and everyone will know that they were a fraud that they were a counterfeit, that they were a deceiver, that they were really not the Christian man or woman that they pertain to be. See, they have to keep up the false facade. <sighs> they have their ministries. They go out and uh, they travel. They do humanitarian work. They do uh, missionary work. You know, they feed the homeless. They go door to door. They do ministry. You know, they go out and, you know, try to help the needy and the homeless and they try to go out and help the orphans. All these things is a facade. All of it is just smoke and mirrors. It's all to paint a picture to you to make you think that this person is a nice person. But behind closed doors, these people are the evil ones. They are the ones that are demons. They are the ones that ruined their marriage and relationships. They are the ones that were sleeping with other people. They were the ones that were cheating. They were the ones that were hooked on pornography and drugs and all these different things. And... The narcissist I was with, I'm telling you, this man played a major part for years. He was living a double life. He never loved me. He never cared for me. He was just using me for his own selfish gain. And I'm telling you, you have to be careful. You have to stay connected to God. You have to have a spirit of discernment. You have to ask God for his Holy Spirit and wisdom. Because these people are good at manipulating. You have to ask God to show you the deeper size of people. He says, test every spirit by the spirit to see if that individual is of God. You have to understand that the enemy can masquerade themselves, transform themselves into an angel of light. And that's what the narcissists do. The narcissists look like an angel of light to all the people. People are mourning and being around them and at their feet and being there for them and wiping their fake tears and uh, they're there hugging them and feeding them and nurturing them and they're laughing at these people and they're sitting back and you're looking like what is going on don't these people see who this person really is why don't nobody believe me why everybody think that i'm lying and i'm tell not telling the truth why do people think that something's wrong with me because the narcissists have been slaying you and trying to destroy your career your character and your name for years and the people are going to think you have to be crazy. Nobody's going to go around and smear their wife and their husband's name for years and years. Nobody does that. That's not normal. But they don't understand that the narcissist is not normal. The narcissist has a mental disorder. They are unstable. These people have an overt and covert personality. These people are dangerous. They're mentally ill. And they, they watch a lot of movies. I remember the narcissist I was with. We watched a lot of movies, and I'm thinking he just wanted to watch movies, but he was watching the movie to get, you know, uh, to, to uh, obtain uh, characters and watch how people play parts in movies so he can use those same schemes in his own relationship. And so what, what I'm saying is that you have to be mindful. You have to understand that these people are mentally ill. They are sick. They are not like you and me. They're not empathetic. They don't have compassion. They don't care about their own children. They don't care about you. They don't care if your life has been destroyed. They don't care if you uh, are suffering. They don't care that you have to rebuild. They don't care um, if everyone turns their back on you as long as everyone continues to believe the lie that they're telling. Now, I want you to know, because I found out too as well, most the majority of everybody is believing the lie. They are sucking up the lie, and they have turned against you. And that Norse is going to keep these people next to them. They invite them to their homes for dinners and gatherings because they got to keep the people next to them. So they'll never get next to you and find out the truth. 
the narcissists keep the new supply next to them because they don't want the new supply engaging with you, talking with you, co-parenting with you, uh, trying to have a relationship with you because they know that eventually the new supply is going to find out that the narcissist did all of this and it was a lie. So they keep these people separated from you. They keep you all enemies. They want to keep you all separated. So they tell the new supply that you're dangerous and you want to hurt them and you're threatening them because that keeps them away from you. They don't want anyone connecting with you. So they have to keep telling the same lie. They got to keep all of these flying monkeys and all these people that have been drinking the Kool-Aid. They have to keep them next to them. So they'll never get next to you. They'll never be able to find out the truth. And so as long as the narcissist can do that, they feel that they have won. They feel that they have everything under control. They got to keep their victims and, 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 and the people that they're um, um, tricking next to them. They have to. So I want you to understand that they will never tell the truth. The truth is not even in them. They believe their own lies. They will manipulate their own children. They'll turn the children against you and manipulate the children to make the children think it was all your fault that they're not together, that the family is destroyed. Some of you all are going through that. Some of you all have experienced that. Some of you all have coached, have talked to me about that. You have lost your job. Uh, church family have turned against you. Even the pastors believe what these, ministers, these, these monsters are saying. And you would think that these people have spiritual discernment. You would think that the people in the church will see right through this demon. But the demon even have the church people on a string. They even believe the lie. And that's what's so crazy about it. So I want you to know that that narcissist would never tell the truth. The truth is not in them. Don't even expect them to do it. The best thing you can do is to forgive yourself for being with these people, forgive yourself for marrying these people, dating these people, uh, forgive yourself for sticking around for all the trauma and the abuse, forgive yourself for staying so long. If you are a child and your parent is a narcissist, your boss is a narcissist, you just got to move on, move out, find your own place. You know, sometimes you got to just love these people from a distance. I don't want you hating these people, being unforgiving. You got to forgive. You have to move on. Now, I know we don't forget, and you won't forget, and that's understandable. Nobody forgets what happened to them, but you have to forgive to move on. The forgiveness is not for them. The forgiveness for you is for healing. God got something special for all of us. God has the right husband, the right um, wife for you. God has the right job for you. God has the right friends for you. So if these people have turned their back on you, these people were never meant to be in your life anyway. God is exposing everything and everyone to you. So that way he can develop you. He can build you. He can bless you the way he want to bless you. We have to understand that these narcissists was a, a lesson to us. But at the same time, they are a blessing. Because God opened up our eyes. God removed these people from our life. Yeah, they did it because God allowed them to do it because he knew who these people were. He knew they were lying. He knew they were cheating. He knew they were committing adultery. And some of them are living right now today in full-blown adultery, full-blown uh, sin. And they don't care because as long as they can keep the mask on, as long as everybody keep believing the lies, as long as they can keep telling the same lie over and over and over again. And some of these people sit right in the house of the Lord. Some of these people preaching and, and speaking, have ministries, doing evangelism and all these different things right in the churches and living in full-blown sin. So I don't want that to discourage you as well because you have to remember that the devil is even in the house of God as well. So don't think that the whole church is corrupt because these people are sitting in here playing God and playing church. God is going to deal with these people. The Bible says again, what's done in the dark will come to light. Whatever a man sow, so shall he reap. So the Norses have sown lies destruction they have broken up families they have caused division against the brethren they have deceived people and they will pay for it now i can't tell you coach Dizzy can't tell you when this is going to happen and when god is going to punish them and when god's going to deal with them but he will deal with them so i want you to know today that i love you thank you for tuning in to break it free i ask that you subscribe to the youtube channel please subscribe don't forget to hit that like button if you would like coaching with coach lizzie please email me at warriorqueen.55 at yahoo.com. Again, warriorqueen.55 at yahoo.com. 
if you would like coaching or you can just leave your information for prayer please visit my website you can also reach me through my website for coaching and prayer and bible study at www.breakingfreenpd.com www.breakingfreenpd.com if you want to send me a donation you can uh, send me a cash app donation don't forget the dollar sign dollar sign l i z z i e middle initial l last name harrison h a r r i s o n you can also uh, send me a donation through um, paypal at lizzie harrison at s b c global dot net that's lizzie l i z z i e harrison at s b c global dot net i love you guys thank you so much for tuning in to breaking free Remember that even though the narcissist would never tell the truth, you continue to tell the truth. You continue to be honest with others and yourself. Whether people believe you or not, continue to be honest. Continue to be faithful. Continue to be the loving person that you are. Don't let this narcissistic relationship, this narcissistic abuse, turn you away from God. Don't allow this to make you think that God doesn't care for you. Even though people have turned their back on you, God will restore people tenfold. If you lost 10 people, God will give you 20. He will give you 30. If you lost a husband, he'll give you a new one. If you lost a wife, he'll give you a new one. If, he, if you lost a mother or a child to narcissistic abuse, you best believe God will replace them with better people, with better jobs, with better homes, with better uh, spouses, with better people in your life, better energy, a better atmosphere understand that God loves you. If you don't feel that anyone else loves you in this world, Coach Lee's going to let you know today that God loves you. Don't give up. You can thrive. I did it. You can do it. Start a YouTube channel. Go out and spread awareness about NPD. Go out and spread awareness about narcissistic abuse and domestic violence. You can also find my organization, Harrison's Referral Service. I have another organization for domestic violence and narcissistic abuse, Harrison's Referral Services. I'm on Facebook, and you can go to my website at www.harrisonsreferralservices.com. Again, harrisonsreferralservices.com, or you can find me on Facebook at Harrison's Referral Services. God bless you. Coach Lizzie, love you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to share, 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 because that helps the video circulate. And remember, even though the narcissist would never tell the truth, you continue to tell the truth and be that honest man and an honest woman. God bless you and have a great day.